I'm Heidi Hewitt, AutoCAD Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk, and I'm here with Bill Fain, AutoCAD expert and author. Bill, what are some of the um, best practices that you can maybe offer to users as far as tool palette groups? Do you have any typical groups that you use, and what are what are the purposes of groups? Yeah, well, let's start with how to create a group. <laughs> it gets back to the right-click on a palette. One of the buttons is... That's always your answer. Always my answer. <laughs> <laughs> One of the choices is customize, and dialog box comes up that lists all of the available palettes, and you can select which ones belong to named groups. You can create a named group. Now, as you're using AutoCAD, you can very easily right-click, <laughs> switch back and forth from group to group. Only those palettes that are in that name group will display. They can overlap, so you could have some in one group, some in the others, but some unique ones. Where this can be very powerful, let's say you're a consultant, you have several clients. They have their own CAD standards. So you get a sample drawing from the client, you create tools by example from their sample file, now you've got all your correct layers and layer definitions and everything else, and you may have several different tool palettes in there, depending on, uh, say in an architectural context, there may be structural versus electrical versus plumbing and so on, for each client. So now you can build a group of the palettes that relate to one particular client, and another group for another client, so when you're working on a drawing from the other client, you simply switch to their group, now you've got all the tools, that create objects to that client's standard. That instant is, productivity, instant uh, compliance with standards. That is a great example, and I can see, I mean, I'm imagining as you're talking about it, how long that will take, and I'm thinking minutes. I mean, literally just a few minutes for you to get those blocks from their existing drawing. Probably closer to them. seconds. Seconds, yeah. <laughs> yes. Simple but, drag and drop, and then set the groups, switch from group to group as appropriate to whatever you're working on at the time. And the amount of time that it's going to save you in the future is just exactly. can't even count it. Yeah. People say they don't have time to learn customizing. You can't afford not to. Exactly. <laughs> Good point. You what can't a afford not to. Good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bill.